All right, hi, year 12, this is Mr. Lim again, and this is uh, the structure and nomenclature video for amino acids. All right, so we're going to be learning about how to name and how to, how they're structured, um, but pretty much, oh, what, what's this ester stuff doing here? No, we're not doing any ester stuff. I haven't just cut and pasted that from another video. All right, so amino acids have a naming group and a carboxylic acid group in their structure. Okay, so that's two functional groups, and then... Um, they get a special name of amino acids. All right, so here's a structure of an amino acid. Here you have a carbon and maybe you have a carboxylic acid here and an amine group here, okay? This would be classified as an amino acid, all right? We are really going to be looking at alpha amino acids, which is slightly different to an amino acid, okay? So here we have a central um, carbon, which is bonded to a carbon which has the carboxylic acid group on it, and it's also bonded to an amine group. Okay, so the one above is not an amino acid because you've got an extra carbon in between, right? But this one down here is an alpha amino acid because it has the carboxylic acid group and the amine group on the same carbon, right? So that's what we mean by alpha amino acids, and these are the ones that we're really going to be dealing with for the most uh, part in chemistry. All right, so um, that's that. That's the structure of an alpha amino acid. Okay, so let's have a look. Alpha amino acids are very common in nature, forming the basic building blocks of proteins, which we're going to be learning about uh, later on in the next topic. All right, um, common alpha amino acids have specific names and structures which are found in your data sheet. So you've probably flipped past that page before and wondered what that is. Now you have an idea of what they are. Okay, and so you see the alpha amino acids in the data sheet. They are written in a very specific way. Okay, uh, so they show that the hate the bond to the thing is there, all right, um, it's actually CH and then a COOH, and then up here is something there, all right, and each amino acid is different only in this part there, okay, so they only differ, differ by their R dash group, or yep, the R dash group, which is the other part of the carbon other than the amino and carboxylic acid chain, okay, so you have your amine, uh, amine group, you have your carboxylic acid group, you have another hydrogen, which, you know, kind of goes down there, All right? But then this is, this part here is the uh, R group, which is different for each different amino acid, okay? And that's what makes them all different, okay? So we're going to deal with mainly alpha amino acids in this course already, okay? So here is or, or that page on your data sheet, okay? So you see that the, here are the uh, carboxylic acid groups, okay, and they're always at the bottom of the thing, all right, and here are your amine groups on the other side of the central alpha carbon, okay, so that's the alpha carbon, and then you see all of your side groups are slightly different, okay, so they could have an amide group on there, they could have a carboxylic acid group on your side group, they can have sulfurs there, they can have, oh, that's another amide structure, that's another carboxylic acid structure, all right? And so these R groups are the things that are different between each of these amino acids, except for, where is it? This one here, proline, okay? So proline is just a bit funny. It technically has an amine group there and a carboxylic acid group, and it's both joined to that alpha carbon, which happens to be that one over there, all right? Um, but it is classed as an alpha uh, as an amino acid because it has to because it has that amine group even if it's not in that NH2 form. Okay, so um, all of those R side groups give each of these amino acids the different properties, and when you have these R groups, um, they're going to you know give your proteins different um, properties and stuff like that, which we'll go through later on. Okay, but you should just recognize the general structure, the blue, green, and red part. Okay, and then the different structure as the um, purple R group on the side. Okay, and those R groups can be different. All right, that's it for alpha, uh, amino acids. We're going to be learning about the uh, other stuff about them later on.